Hello and welcome to Escape Controls. Today I'll give you a quick tutorial on how to reserve an IP address on your Xfinity or Comcast router. First thing you want to do is log into the router. In my case, I've typed in the IP address of my router, the 192.168.0.1, which is the default from Xfinity. And then go ahead and log in with your admin user and name and password. Once you've logged in, you can see a list of connected devices. So go ahead and press the View Connected Devices button. Now Xfinity lets you reserve an IP using two different methods. You can either click on the Add Device with the Reserved IP. This method makes you type in the information for the device. Or you can find your device in the listing. And what I'm looking for is an Ethernet connected device. So chances are it's going to be either this one or this one. I'm going to take a guess, it's this one right here. And what you're looking for is a device with a MAC address that starts with 60CBFB. Um, all Airscape Whole House fans will, be, will have a MAC address that starts with that prefix, 60CBFB. And if you're not sure what the MAC address is of your Whole House fan, if you look on the, on the fan itself, there should be a sticker that looks something like this. And again, you're looking for a MAC with a prefix of 60CBFB. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Reserved IP. You can see the Xfinity router has assigned an IP address of 192.168.0.25 to my fan. I'm going to go ahead and save that IP. you need that for later. And then I can put a comment section in here and you can leave it blank or put something in there and click Save. When you click Save, the router reboots. As you can see in the message here, it just takes about 20-30 seconds. Once the router has rebooted, you'll be able to see a reserved entry in the DHCP column. So let's go ahead and see if we can talk to our device. Um, I've opened up a new tab here, and I'm going to type in the IP address that we had on the previous screen. That was the .25 address. And there we go. I'm talking to my 4.4 eHole House fan, and I'm getting live data from it. So we now reserve the IP address on the Xfinity on Comcast router. Thanks for watching.